Well, and you said your mom was a judge, right? Mm-mm. Father. No? Father. Your father was a judge. Mm-hmm. Did that is, have is. any... Is a judge. Does, does that have any impact on you mm-hmm. becoming... Yeah, he became one when I was um, 16. Okay. Um, and so I did. I got to see, you know, him get sworn in and go on the bench and saw the interactions of the legal community and his best friend as an attorney. Um, so we had close, you know, family ties to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I did, you know, mock trial and things like that when I was in high school. So that really, like, kind of gave me that fire. Yeah. That yeah. Me. Mm-hmm. I want to um, read off just a, a short list of kind of some female attorneys that um, you may recognize their names and tell me if I butcher any of these names. <laughs> but we talked about, about Ruth Bader, um, Ginsburg, Hillary Clinton, Sandra Day O'Connor. Feel free to in- interrupt if you want to say anything about um, these people. First female Supreme Court Justice. Sandra Sonia. Sotomayor. Sotomayor. She knew I was going to mess that up. <laughs> um, Elizabeth Warren, Michelle Obama, Judith Sheindlin, I think is how you pronounce Judge it. Judge Judy. Judge Judy. That's how we all know her, right? <laughs> So Judge Judy, which, which I think did have an impact on a lot of women Absolutely. watching her. A woman on the bench, whether it's on TV, especially because it's on TV, it shows all the little girls in the world that they can be on a bench too. And we're, and you know. Yes, sir. And she was a tough, tough chick too. Woman oh, judge. She's a great attorney. In yeah. The public. They're so smart. Yeah. How much about Judge when Judy? When I was a, um, a little girl, I my mom took me to see Hillary Clinton speak at Florida a University which is a historically black college in um, Tallahassee, Florida. And I was probably like nine years old. And I was just so fascinated with her, the way that she spoke um, and the way that she inspired the crowd. And at the end of it, I don't know if you know anything about Florida a and but their mascot is a rattler. Mm-hmm. And so they make this symbol um, for their mascot. And at the end of it, at the end of this beautiful speech that she did, she made the Rattler symbol, which is like this. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I was just in awe, Mm -hmm. you know. And so I go home and I start doing all the, you know, researching, which I don't know if we had Internet when I was nine. I don't know. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I'm like, inner pants. Did we? (laughs) (laughs) Encyclopedia Britannica. (laughs) But going back to what Sarah had said, um, I did all this research to find out that she was a lawyer and yeah. I was like oh well I mean if she's kind of cool and you know if she's a lawyer then I should probably be that too yeah I yeah. should you know? be that yeah. I want to do the Rattler symbol and say what you want about Hillary Clinton politically <laughs> yeah. but as the first woman to run for president yeah I think that will always be inspiring just because I mean, look how long it took right. for a woman to run for president right mm-hmm. um, and all the things that she had to endure it, people criticizing her personal life, her hair, her hair, everything she wore, all that stuff. I think all women kind of related. Well, to. and how interesting is that? We really don't criticize what the male's wardrobe is like, um, a, you know, I mean, nobody's ever looked at a man and said, look at that hair. Yeah. Look. I mean, is he even is he even a real lawyer? I saw something on the Internet. I think it was today. And it was like a f- another female attorney posted, um, I'm wearing the same dress that I wore to court for the last three Mondays, and I felt self-conscious about it. But then I remembered that the male attorneys wear the same suit every single day. <laughs> every single day. <laughs> and they I rotate too. <laughs> yes. So I think I'm going to wear it all week. And I was like, she should. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> because it's just so much more difficult, I think, for women. Just, yeah. We've got, we're already fighting so much. And it, the first thing is like, what do you look like? I saw a news article, um, Barack Obama had spoken. It was after his presidency and he talked about how Michelle was criticized um, about every little thing that she wore. Mm -hmm. Um, And then he said, while they were criticizing her about every single gown that she wore, he he wore the exact same tuxedo to every single event. <laughs> and he said not one, for the entire <laughs> entirety of his presidency, and he said not one person, not one news outlet he ever commented on it. it. And he said, and that should show you something. Must be nice to have a penis. Right. This is we could have a uniform. <laughs> I, I kind of want to Steve Jobs it and just wear a black turtleneck and jeans. Yeah, <laughs> just take one it. thing and go with it. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, of course, the list goes on and on. There, There's a lot more. Um, female attorneys who have done great things and are are very well known. Um, But I know we're running a little long here, so I kind of want to end on maybe just a piece of advice for um, women who may be in law school or maybe they have just graduated and they're about to get into the workforce. Um, 
of what you would say to them past kind of keep pushing? When they're nine, when there are nine, there, there's never going to be enough of us, you know, and I don't know. I just hope that other women, despite the obstacles and issues and barriers that may be placed in their way, that we as women reach out, give our hand to them and, you know, show them the way that they can come into this and to not give up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also don't be afraid to, it's like when you're coming out of law school or when you're thinking about going into law school, it can be so scary just like reach out to a lawyer. But if you just pick any woman lawyer, I mean, 99.9% .9 of them and say, look, I'm a little scared about this. I'm worried about this. Um, can you help me? Almost all of them are going to respond yeah. and then maybe even help carry you, you know, mm -hmm. the way Amy has carried me mm -hmm. um, and show you the road and, and help you even more than you would expect. So don't be afraid to reach out to other women because most of them have, I mean, they've been through what you've been through and they're ready to help. Mm -hmm. We've had friends that were going to try their first case. And we're like, I don't know anything about this case, but I'll come sit beside of you. <laughs> no, you're not doing it by yourself. Yeah. yeah. Just make you look like you're a big team. Yeah. yeah. Big team. <laughs> I love that. It's going to be good. I love that. Amy, um, do you have any? Yeah, you know, I, I think the thing that we struggle with as women, and I never hear men say this, and maybe they think it, but they just don't say it, but like, they're always like, I need this work-life balance, and there is no balance. Like, people are like, how do you do it all? You don't, you don't do it all. Anybody who tells you they do is lying. Um, you know, there are moments where I am the best lawyer and I'm the worst mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are days where I am the best wife and mom, and it, takes a toll on my practice. Mm -hmm. um, my kids, I didn't spend a lot of time with them, like one-on-one -on -one time with them this summer because we tried a lot of cases and they spent a lot of time with my, at Camp Mimi Papa, with my parents. <laughs> and they really just wanted some alone time and one-on-one -on -one time with us. And so Justin and I booked a last minute vacation last week and just took off and ran and did my, the practice of law suffer just a little maybe. But I came back, um, better than ever you know I mean feeling that well has been filled you know with my babes my babies and they're they're not 11 but they're my babies um I think that that's not the reality of life um and once you kind of wrap your mind around is that there's really no balance that you can't do it all that you know some balls that you're juggling are rubber and some are glass and mm -hmm. really the trick to life is figuring out which ones are glass and knowing what you can't the ones you can't drop yeah. and knowing the ones yeah. you can't what are your priorities yeah. Yeah. yeah and just always kind of coming back to the center of like what's important and and you know balance isn't the word but just you know trying to do the best you can um, is okay that's okay you yeah. know I love that yeah well, thank you ladies for chatting about this. I feel like this is such a needed topic yeah. um, to, to talk about. And you each have such unique perspectives of your own journey at different times. And I think that that's really cool too. So again, you know, this is not to bash any male attorneys or anything. There are some great ones that we know and oh, love, of course. Amazing ones. Um, but this is more to share their journey and also um, encourage other female attorneys. So thank you so much again for watching. The Carolina Justice Report. We release new episodes every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Be sure to go back and watch some of our previous one where we kind of touch on some of these subjects as well as some some hot news topics in the uh, in the news. And uh, you can find us anywhere uh, that you consume your media. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, of course, online at justiceislovely.com. We're everywhere you can you can find us. So uh, thanks so much for watching today. And let us know if you have any questions. You can let us know in the comments. We'd be uh, happy to respond to you. We'll see you next time. Life gets ugly, justice is lovely, the lovely law firm. When life